to the Chidos Academy. This is the continuation of the topic, the terminal method of solving simultaneous equation. Today, we'll be discussing how to use the terminal method to solve simultaneous equation in three variables. Looking for x, y, and z. I'm Wanchuku Daniel. Please, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button to see more of our videos. Back to the topic. The terminal method of solving simultaneous equation. You can use elimination method, sub, uh, substitution method, but want to see how to use the terminal method. To use the terminal method, what you have to do is to write, write down the coefficients of this alphabet. You write it down. Coefficient of this x, what is beside this x? 1. Coefficient of this y, what is beside this y? 2. Coefficient of this y, what is beside it? Minus 1. Then coefficient of this x is 2. Coefficient of this y, minus 1. Coefficient of this z is minus 3. Coefficient of this x is 1. Coefficient of this y is minus 1. Coefficient of this z is minus 1. Then write down the alphabet x, y, z accordingly. The way it appears in the equation. Then say it's equal to 3, 4, and 1. Then what you now do is that you say delta 0 is equal to put double bar line. That means you are looking for the determinant. Carry everything as I'm seeing it here. Put it here. 1, 2, minus 1. 2, minus 1, minus 3. 1, minus 1, minus 1. Now get the determinants. See how you get it. Hold here. Here, a matrix here is known to be plus, minus, plus. It's constant. Plus, minus, plus. So what you write is, you write plus one, this first one, plus one. Then hold this column. Hold this column, hold it. Then hold this row. Once you hold this column and hold this row, these four elements will appear. Get the determinant of this element. You say, minus one times minus one, one. You must put minus because you say get the determinant. Minus 1 times minus 3. It will give you 3. Then you clean up this line you use to hold this column. To clean it up. Then what you now do is that you hold the second column. And also hold the first row. When you hold the second column and hold the first row, these four elements will appear 2, minus 3, 1, and minus 1. You write it down. 2, minus 3, 1, and minus 1. After holding the middle one and this first row, you have 2 and 1, minus 3 and minus 1. Now what you now say, 2 times minus 1, now, for them, what is on the top is minus and 2. So you write minus 2, bracket. You take that minus and the 2, put it. Now, you now say 2 times minus 1, minus 2. You must put minus. 1 times minus 3, minus 3. Then, you clean this... Uh, column and hold the last column. If you hold the last column, what will appear as the element will be this 2, minus 1, 1, and minus 1. Then, as you hold this last column, this third column, as you can see, you have plus and minus 1 at the top of it. Plus times minus will give you minus. 
then you put one. Then you bracket. Get the determinant. Two times minus one minus two. You must put minus. One times minus one minus one. So that is what you'll be having. Then you sort it out. To sort it out, we we'll continue here. We say one times minus two. One times minus three minus two. Then times one minus two will remain. Then remember we said one minus three will be one minus three will be minus two. Minus two times one. We say minus two. Then minus times minus plus plus three. Minus two plus three will give you one. One times minus two will give you minus two. Then minus times minus plus. Minus two plus one minus one. Minus one times minus one plus one. So we now say minus two minus two minus four plus one equal to minus three. You get delta one. Delta one simply means as you are seeing this, as you are seeing this one, let's write down the equation again. One, two, one, two, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus three, minus one. These are the coefficients of these letters we have. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X. They are the coefficients. So, to get delta one, clean the first column. After you clean the first column, Take this 3, 4, 1 and put here 3, 4, 1 and get the determinant. You now say, I am getting the determinant now. Put plus, minus, plus. Now, first of all, put plus 3 bracket because we have plus 3 here. You hold this first row. It's constant. Now, when you hold the first column, four elements will appear. You write down that element. You write down the four elements. Minus one, minus three, minus one, minus one. Get the determinant. Minus one times minus one. One minus, because minus is a mod. Minus one times minus one, three. Then you clean. You also clean. You also clean this first column. Now, when you finish cleaning the first column, circle the second column. When you circle the second column, bring out minus two you have on the top here. Minus two bracket. Four elements will appear. That four elements, write it down. Four and minus three. One and minus one. Now, see what you do. What you do is I get the time of 4 times minus 1 minus 4 minus my 1 times minus 3 minus 3. So, minus times minus will automatically give you plus. So, you write plus 3. Then, you clean. After cleaning, you clean this first column you see. You, you circled and circled the third one. After circling it, you have these four elements appearing. And for the help, plus and minus one. Plus times minus, minus one, bracket. Write down this parameter, four minus one, one and minus one. Get the determinant, four times minus, is a must you multiply these two first before this one. Don't interchange. 4 times minus 1, minus 4, minus 1 times minus 1, minus 1. Minus times minus will give you plus. So, you now sort it out. It will be giving you 1 minus 3, minus 2. Minus 2 times this, minus 6. Minus 4 plus 1, minus 1. Minus 1 times this, plus 2. Minus 4 plus 1 will give you 
minus 3, minus 3 times this, plus 3. You'll be having 2 plus 3, 5, minus 6 plus 5, minus 1. It means that your delta 1 is minus 1. You get your delta 2. Still write everything you have here, the coefficient. You'll be having 1, 2, and 1. Then 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, and minus 1. Now what you do, at this point, you, you, you replace the first column. Also, now this one, all you do is clean the second column and replace it with the constants. 3, 4, and 1. Now, what you do now is that you get the determinant. The determinant will be how you get it is right here plus minus plus is constant. Right plus one bracket. Hold this first row. Then hold the first column. When you hold the first column, these four elements will appear. You write it down. Four minus three, one and minus one. This double bar line means you are looking for the determinant. You say 4 times minus 1, minus 4, minus 1 times this will give you minus 3. Minus times minus will give you plus, so you'll be having plus 3. Then you come and clean here, and hold the second column. Four elements will appear, and the four elements are 2 minus 3, 1 and minus 1. You get the determinant. But for them, what is on the top is minus 3. You put minus 3 bracket. You now say 2 times minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1 times this, minus 3. So you'll be having plus 3 after sorting it out. You now clean here and hold here. You now say the elements that will appear is 2, 1, and 4, 1. You get the determinant and for them plus times minus is minus 1 bracket. 2 times 1, 2. Minus 1 times 4, 4. Okay? Now you sort it out. Minus 4 plus 3, minus 1, minus 1 times 1, 1. Minus 2 plus 3, 1. 1 times minus 3, minus 3. 2 minus 4, minus 2, minus 2 times minus 1, plus 2. So you'll be having 1 plus 2. Let's check it again. Minus 4 plus this, minus 1, minus 1 times this, minus 1. Then, you now check again. Minus 2 plus 3, while 1 times this minus 3. 2 minus 4, minus 2 minus 2 times this plus 2. So minus 1 minus 3, minus 4, minus 4 plus minus 2 will give, minus 4 plus 2 will give you minus 2. Now I do the last one, change in 3. In this change in 3, the implication is that you write. You write this coefficient of these letters. 1, 2, 1. 2 minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1, minus 3, and minus 1. Still the coefficient of these parameters, or these letters we have. Now, you go to the third column. You clean it. And you put the value of this constant, 3, 4, and 1. Then put plus, minus, plus. Then hold the first row. These are called row because it's horizontal component. Then hold the first column. When you hold the first column, what you will see, you write plus 1. Bracket. You have minus 1, 4, minus 1, 1. Minus 1 times 1, you write minus 1. 
you must put minus because you are looking for the determinant. Minus one times four, minus four. Minus four, when you put it here, minus times minus will be plus, you'll be having plus four. Then you clean this first column you separate and hold the second column. When you hold the second column, you'll be having two, four, one, one. Standing out. Okay? Now, what you now do? Get the time now. Two times one. But before you get the time now, write minus two. The top element at the top. Then, two times one, two, minus one times four, four. Then, you write this, this one plus three bracket. You clean here. And circle this third element. Then you will be having two, one, and minus one, minus one. Okay? Get the time now. Two times this, minus two. You put minus. One times this, minus one. Minus times minus will give you plus. So you sort it out. Then you now say, minus one plus four, three. Three times one, three. 2 minus 4, minus 2 minus 2 times this, plus 4. 2 minus 4, minus 2 minus 2 times this, plus 4. Minus 2 plus 1, minus 1, minus 1 times 3, will give you minus 3. That will be giving you 3 plus 4, 7, minus 3, 4. So, we have gotten the values of Delta 0, Delta 1, Delta 2, and Delta 3. Now, see what you do now. To get your X, you say your X is equal to change in 1 all over change in 0, Delta 1 over Delta 0. What is a Delta 1? You say it's minus 1. What is a Delta 0? Minus 3. It will be giving you 0.33. Y will be equal to change in 2 or delta 2 all over delta 0. What is our delta 2? Minus 2 all over. What is our delta 0? Minus 3. Equal to 0 0.67. Because minus you cancel so minus. Minus you cancel so minus. And your Z will be equal to change in 3 all over delta 0. What is our delta 3? 4 all over delta 0 minus 3. That will be the value of z. Okay? Now, therefore, our s is equal to 0 0.33, our y equal to 0 0.67, and our z is equal to minus 4 over 3. You have gotten the values of s, y, z. Thanks for watching the video.